gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I got some news for you for Southern Hail. Uh, <clears throat> booked the load, uh, preloaded uh, last Friday out of Statesville, a load of uh, uh, bag fertilizer going to Jasper, Georgia. <clears throat> so, uh, Got up early Monday morning. I think I left out around 3, 3.30. Got down there around 8.30, 9 o'clock. <clears throat> it rained on the way down. And uh, <clears throat> between the cab and the trailer there, you know, I can tell that, you know, uh, water and oil, when they mix, they leave those pretty red and green colors. Uh, so I could tell something was leaking, but it was, it was raining, so I couldn't tell what was going on. So after I dropped that load off, uh, I went about 17 miles and picked up a load of uh, granite, I'm sorry, marble headstones going to the Georgia National Cemetery. It was like a little 24 mile trip. <clears throat> well, whenever I got to the marble place, I could see where the leak was. And it was right at the front differential there where the, uh, the drive shaft hooks up to the yoke there, on the drive axle. Um, yeah, leaving a good little two inch puddle of oil. Uh, so when I dropped that load, my next load for Tuesday morning wasn't picking up till 6 a.m. So I went to the truck stop, <clears throat> Love's down there off 75, and uh, got me a spot, popped the cap, you know, the plug out, you know, and had fluid in there, so it was good. I went in there and bought two quarts anyway, just to be safe. Next morning, I went and got my load. <clears throat> and uh, started heading back. It was going back to Huntersville, North Carolina. Uh, so I stopped off at the uh, at the 163, right before I got out of Georgia into South Carolina. Pulled off and uh, couldn't feel no oil when I pulled the plug. Uh, so I put those two quarts in there. Worried about it. I drove on up to the to the four just inside of South Carolina, which was like 12 miles. Bought four more quarts and uh, squeezed off two more quarts in there and I could fill it. So, uh, so I had you know two extra quarts. So I put a gallon in there. Um, so I run it on up to the 104. Run it on up to the 104, uh, to the loves there. Um, right there close to Blacksburg, uh, South Carolina. And uh, I was on level ground and uh, pulled the plug and some ran out, so I knew I was good. So I run it on up to Harrisburg, drop that load off, and come on back to Gold Hill. Uh, and where I parked my truck at, they got about 15 or 20 of their own trucks. So uh, I pressure washed it off, and they said they'd take a look at it looked like it was just that seal. Uh, they called me today and uh, they, they pulled the, dropped the drive shaft and pulled the seal and they seen a lot of metal flakes down in there. So <clears throat> I just left the shop. <clears throat> we pulled out the whole rear end house and I'm on my way to Charlotte uh, to uh, transact to drop it off uh, along with one of theirs. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll, it'll get turned around and you know, hopefully I can pick it up by Friday and get it back in um, so I can get back next week because I only had two days work this week uh, with the truck going down. So, um, anyway, that's where we're at right now. So, uh, I'll keep you posted, let you know how soon we get it fixed and um, how much it sets squirrel back. So, that's flatbed. Anyway, we'll catch you on the flip side later.